Thank you for joining me on this learning journey. Today I'm going to be sharing my learnings on how to do um, fractions and how to work with fractions on your TI-84 plus CE calculator. So first off what we're going to do is we're going to go to alpha and then we're going to hit y equals. So this button right here. And what it does is it pulls up this menu and this is where you'll find all the different functions you can do with fractions on this menu. So what we're going to go and ahead and do first is click one and it pulls up a little template for us as you can see here. Um, and we're going to plug in a random fraction. I'm going to go six over eight. And when we click enter, I hope you can see this well, um, it'll actually um, reduce the fraction or simplify the fraction. Next up, we're going to go to alpha y equals, go to that menu again, and we're going to click number two. Now what's going to happen with this is we can type in our mixed fraction. I'm going to go five, six over eight, and what it's going to do is it's going to um, convert it into an improper fraction and also reduce it and simplify it. And there we go, it did that. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna, so here I, again, I hope you guys can see this. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and go alpha y equals three. Oops, alpha y equals three. And that's gonna convert, or we should type some number in here first. Um, or you know what, let's just go with our answer. So if we, if we don't specify a number, it automatically does the answer um, of the previous equation. So let's go ahead and do this. So what it's done here is it converts it from an improper fraction to a mixed fraction. Um, and it did just that. Alpha y equals 4 will convert a fraction to a decimal. So it's going to convert this fraction right here to a decimal. And there we go. So it converted the fraction 5, 3 over 4 to 5.75. So that's how the different fraction functions um, really work on your TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator. I hope that was helpful and please let me know if you have any comments or feedback or suggestions for additional learnings below. And I'll see you in the next video.